Good morning, everyone. Thursday, March 4th, just before market opens, about uh, 8.52, and let's see if we can determine which way the market is going to go today, the S&P E-mini market I'm talking about. Now, past week, the news that has affected the market the most has been news on interest rates and jobless claims. Yesterday's uh, ADP employment report was that the pay payrolls added 117,000 jobs, whereas the estimate for what the jobs would be or should have been added was 225. So yesterday's job, uh, ADP employment report shows a big lag in the jobs market. Also, on today, the initial jobless claims have been just released, and the figure is just about what was expected, 745,000 versus 750. Continuing jobless claims remain high. Productivity is low. Unit labor costs are higher, of course, because fewer people working. What can we glean from this information? Well, the news for the stock market, not bad, but not really good. I would call it more toward the bad part, but you know, we're just trying to get a sentiment. Remember, as traders, we only want to know two things, which way the market is going to go and when it's going to get there. At uh, Now looking at the uh, Fidelity Sectors report, there are two sectors that are, that are going up, energy and financials, and those indicate thinking on the part of investors that the economy is going to be improving. Well, you ask why, if the economy is going to be improving in the minds of investors, why are energy and financials up and virtually everything else or everything else, all the other sectors are, are going down? Well, energy, because uh, as, as more people, as the economy adds jobs, more people are going to be going to work, going to be driving, energy prices go up. Financials, likewise, because of interest rates. Interest rates go up, the cost of borrowing money is more, banks make more money, financials show some, some life. So these are, they, they portend good for the stock market or for the economy, not, not so much the stock market per se, because the stock market is really, uh, is really devoid of an, an attachment to the economy, to the, to the real economy. But in the short term, this does not bode well for the, uh, for the uh, stock market. Uh, moving over to CNBC, the news today really, it centers on uh, jobless claims and the rising, uh, spect the specter of rising credit. So again, not great news for the stock market. Looking at the chart of the E-mini, the S&P E-mini for, ye for yesterday, this is March 3rd, and I've drawn a blue line across the uh, trading hours from 9.30 to 4 eastern time and trading the market yesterday was a bit tricky because there weren't really solid indicators that should get you into the market if you're a if you're a uh, careful observer of price action and candlestick patterns market opened up at 9 30 at 9 35 we see a bearish engulfing pattern uh some stability for the next 15 minutes but really nothing couldn't couldn't really maybe pretell this decline over here at 955. By the way, there are five points between each horizontal line here. So this candle here uh, was a, a move downward of 14 points. But again, no, no easy way of seeing that this was a clear indication that the market was going to move down. This is not really a hammer. I was thinking perhaps maybe a hammer with a confluence of the stochastics in the oversold area might get you on. But again, this was this occurred at 1015 and it was a weak signal. For the rest of the day, let's skip over to about two o'clock where the action really picks up. At uh, two o'clock, we see that at, uh, at about 1.30, the market uh, starts to decline. And we can see the general trend throughout the day is to the downside. So the question at two o'clock would be, well, is it going to recover? Are we gonna see a recovery at around two o'clock or thereabouts or not? And here at 2.30, we see a bullish engulfing pattern uh, that um, uh, could have gotten us uh, a, a few points. And this might be the only clear area where I think a trade would have been discernible. Uh, it wouldn't have been for much, but nevertheless, uh, it could have been a point to jump on. Tough day to trade yesterday, March 3rd. 
If there are any indications today which way the market is going to go, I would say it's still to the negative side because interest rates are weighing heavily on the market. Anyway, that's my report for this morning, Thursday, March 4th. This is Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar. Thanks for watching. You trade safe and have a great day.